On January 20th, 2009, Barack Obama became the 44th President of the United States. It was a very important day in our country's history. Being president is a pretty big job, and becoming president takes lots of hard work. President Barack Obama is a hero of freedom and the first African-American president of the United States. How did he do it? It's a really interesting story, and we'd like to share it with you. You'll learn all about President Obama's life and his dreams, and you'll learn some fun facts about him too. Ready? Let's get started. President Obama's Parents We'll begin President Barack Obama's story on the continent of Africa, in the country of Kenya. That's where his father was born and raised. President Obama's father's name was Barack Hussein Obama. He lived in Kenya until he was old enough to go to college. That's when he traveled to the United States to study at the University of Hawaii. President Obama's mother was born in America's Midwest, Kansas. Her name was Ann Dunham. She attended the University of Hawaii, too. They met, and soon after, Barack Obama and Ann Dunham were married. A couple of years later, in 1961, they had a baby boy. They named him after his father, Barack Hussein Obama. When he was just a young boy, Barack's father moved from Hawaii to Boston, Massachusetts to attend Harvard University. But he didn't have enough money to bring the whole family, so young Barack and his mom stayed in Hawaii. It's very hard for any family to be apart, and it was very hard for President Obama's family too. And sadly, his parents ended up getting a divorce. Soon after that, Barack's father went back to live and work in Kenya. He wanted to make things better for the people who lived there. His mom got married again. She married a man from the country of Indonesia. His name was Lolo Soatoro. It was a big change in Barack Obama's life. Now here's a fun fact about President Barack Obama. President Obama's favorite board game is... Do you know? It's not checkers. It's not Monopoly. It's Scrabble. The life of young Barack Obama. Have you ever moved to a new house? A new town? A new school? If you have, then you know how hard it can be to leave your home, your family, and your friends. Well, when President Obama was just six years old, Barack, his mom, and her new husband moved far, far away to a different country, Indonesia. Indonesia was a very poor country, and as a young boy, President Obama learned how difficult life was for the poor people who lived there. But he did learn some cool stuff too. In Indonesia, Barack learned how to fly kites and catch grasshoppers. President Obama lived in Indonesia until he was 10 years old. Then, he moved back to Hawaii to live with his grandparents. In Hawaii, he went to the Punahou Academy. He was one of only a few black students at the school. As a young man, Barack often felt like he really didn't fit in. His mom was white, and his dad was black. And he was raised by his white grandparents. He was confused. Who was he really? And where did he fit into society? In high school, Barack played on the varsity basketball team. He was pretty good. And his team won the state championship. President Obama still likes to play basketball. It's one of his favorite sports. Now, here's another fun fact about President Obama. When he was in high school, President Obama worked in an ice cream shop where he scooped hundreds and hundreds of ice cream cones. And to this day, he doesn't like ice cream. That's right, President Obama doesn't like ice cream. Barack 
Barack Obama goes to college. After graduating from high school, President Obama went to Occidental College in Los Angeles, California. But when he was a sophomore, he transferred to Columbia University in New York. While in New York, he received a phone call from a relative in Kenya to tell him that his father had died. Barack was sad, but he continued to study very hard. He also began to figure out who he was and where he would fit into society. He wanted to help people, so after graduating from college, Barack Obama became a community organizer. It was an opportunity to help people who were poor and discriminated against. When he was 26 years old, Barack decided to take a trip to Kenya to visit his father's family. He had never met them before. While in Kenya, Barack met his family and saw many people living in poverty. After seeing so many poor people, he began to understand why his father had left America to help the people of Kenya. When he returned from Kenya, Barack Obama went to Harvard Law School in Boston, Massachusetts. He believed that he could help people even more if he knew about law. In the summer, President Obama took a job as an intern in a Chicago law firm. It was there he met a young lawyer. Her name was Michelle Robinson. They dated, became engaged, and then got married. While attending Harvard Law School, Barack became the first black president of the Harvard Law Review. It was a very important leadership position to hold and very prestigious. Barack Obama goes to work. After graduating from law school, Barack got a job as the director of Project Vote in Illinois. His job was to get more minorities to register to vote. Vote means to pick or choose a person to be a leader. But Barack Obama thought he could do more for people if he became a political leader. So he decided to run for the Illinois State Senate. In 1996, Barack began a campaign to become a senator in Illinois. A campaign is when people act together to try to get a person elected. The voters of Illinois elected Barack Obama as a representative in the Illinois State Senate. But soon afterwards, he decided to run for the United States Congress. He lost that election, but learned a lot about running a political campaign. Then, in 2003, Barack Obama ran for the United States Senate. In 2004, he was asked to speak at the Democratic National Convention. Many people all over the United States were impressed with Barack Obama. For alongside our famous individualism, there's another ingredient in the American saga, a belief that we're all connected as one people. If there is a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read, that matters to me even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs and having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer even if it's not my grandparent. If there's an Arab American family being rounded up without benefit of an attorney or due process, that threatens my civil liberties. Later on that year, he won the campaign and became a United States Senator. Now he represented all the people of Illinois in Washington, D.C. Here's another fun fact about President Barack Obama. Did you know that President Obama has won two Grammy Awards? He won the first Grammy Award in 2006 for Best Spoken Word for his audiobook, Dreams from My Father. He won his second Grammy Award in 2008 for the audiobook, The Audacity of Hope, Thoughts on Reclaiming the American Dream. Barack Obama's Road to the White House. In February of 2007, Barack Obama announced that he would run to become the President of the United States. I stand before you today to announce 
my candidacy for President of the United States of America. But first, he would have to become the Democratic Party's nominee. A nominee is the person who is chosen to be the presidential candidate. A candidate is a person who is trying to get elected. So Barack began his campaign to become the Democrats' nominee for president. The Democrats are a political party. A political party is a group of people who work together towards the same political goals. Barack would have to win several caucuses. A caucus is a meeting where members of the same political party get together. He'd also have to win primaries. A primary is an election where people vote for who they want to be their party's nominee. He used TV, radio, and the internet to let people know who he was and what he wanted to do for the country. Barack Obama became the Democrats' nominee to run for president. Barack would run against the Republican Party's nominee, Senator John McCain. Both candidates campaigned all across America. Barack Obama made speeches in towns and cities all around the country. He spoke to millions of Americans about how he would help the country, what he would do, and the things he would change if he became president. Obama and McCain debated each other, too. A debate is when two people discuss different points of view. On Tuesday, November 4, 2008, after months and months of campaigning, American voters went to their local polling places. A polling place is the place where people can vote. A polling place can be at a school, library, or other public building. After all the votes were counted, Senator Barack Obama was elected President of the United States of America. Then on January 20, 2009, Barack Hussein Obama took the presidential oath. An oath is a promise. President Obama promised to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. It's a really incredible story. President Obama was born in Hawaii, lived in Indonesia, and as a student, he studied in New York and Boston. He experienced living in a poor village and big cities. And as a young man, he dreamed of helping people around the world. He began spreading a message of hope and change by speaking to millions of people all over the country. And he became the 44th president of the United States. Now it's time to play the President Obama quiz. See how many you know. Here's question one. In what country was President Obama's father born? A, the United States. B, Kenya, or C, Mexico. Do you know? The correct answer is B, Kenya. Question two. What country did President Obama move to when he was six years old? A, Canada, B, Japan, or C, Indonesia? The correct answer is C, Indonesia. Question three. What is President Obama's favorite board game? Is it A, Scrabble? B, Candyland? C, Chess? The correct answer is A, Scrabble. Now here's the last question. What is a political party? Is it A, a big celebration? B, a group of people who work together for the same political goals, or C, an event where people sing and dance. What do you think? The correct answer is B, 
A political party is a group of people who work together for the same political goals. The story of President Obama is a story of having a dream and the freedom to work hard and achieve that dream. President Obama's dream was to help people. He chose to do that by becoming president. What's your dream? You know, you can make your dream come true too. Because in the United States, we have the freedom to choose to work hard, study hard, and to pursue our dreams. President Obama made his come true. He is a true hero of freedom.